select this top couple joints again and scale them out and press S again. And go down a couple frames and I'll rotate these joints a little bit more and scale those ones down again. All right. Just copy this first frame. I'm not going to make this a, a super long and exciting tutorial. Paste it in there. I, I already know this is not an impressive animation, um, but I just want to show you guys that you know the process of animating. For pay provision in Maya. Um. All right, that's good enough for me. Just save this. And uh, if if you don't have the um, the Kawada exporter plugin installed, Kawada Maya, uh, go download it from SourceForge and install it. Um, and then make sure that you have it enabled in Maya. And to do that, you go up to Window, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. And then right here it says Kawada.mll. You want to make sure both loaded and auto loaded are checked. And then click Refresh and Close. And now when you go up to File, Export All, you'll get this file type Colada exporter and you want to make sure that's checked um, and you'll have a whole bunch of options down here uh, make sure big transformations is on uh, relative paths triangulate um, joints and skin polygon meshes animations um, export constraints normals texture coordinates uh, export references and YFOV. Um, if you have oh, oops, sorry about that. And if you have all those uh, selected, you should be good. And just do export all. <clears throat> and you want to export your Maya file or your DAE to the same folder as your Maya file. Also, make sure that your textures are in that folder as well. Um, that way, your your uh, your DAE file will be able to find its textures, and we'll have the correct paths. So we're just gonna save this out. Um, Anim cube one, and just click export. Okay, and I'm just gonna minimize this and open up the. Um, 3D, uh, the Paper Vision 3D Previewer, and right click, load mesh, and there's our Anim Cube open. And Maya, Maya export thing, uh, Maya exports things really small as DAEs. So if you just push the up arrow on uh, the Paper Vision 3D Previewer, it'll scale it up. And then also when 
you uh, go to use this in like augmented reality or whatever you want to use for paper vision 3D um, just make sure you scale it up that's the easiest way to do it um, otherwise you'll be working with a huge huge model inside of Maya and it'll be really clumsy to work with so if I just click on it it'll do its little animation it's really quick probably a little bit too quick but you get it so that's how you animate for paper vision 3d in Maya with joints alright this was Ben Jones uh, was fun talking to you guys I'll see you next time